Hey everybody, Travel Dog here. We are off to Lulworth Cove today, which is a nice walk. I think about 45 minutes from here, from the Durdle Door Holiday Park. Travel Dog is currently being carried as it has sniffed everything on Earth. And we will never arrive. So it's being carried until we finally get there. So come on crew, let's go. Here you go, got a few beautiful little cows just as we head off on the uh, beginning of this path. Keep Travel Dog away from them. All right, let's head through the gate and get going. Okay. Hello, cows. Hello, cows. Watch it, travel dog. Don't go close to the cows. Hello, beautiful cows. All right, here we go. Off on this mad trip. Look at these beautiful hills all around us. Look at that. And you can actually see the caravan park really cool from here and the cliffs over there. Look at that, a caravan park, man. Oh, man, you can see all the boat. Man, there's masses of boats out there today. You've got a really clear view of those other mountains and hills the caravan park is quite amazing actually and you can see all the tented area as well yeah we got water for the pug oh here we go nice nice little sign I like these little signs lulworth cove three fifth don't know what that means it can't surely be three fifths of a mile there what do you think it means campsite Durdle door coast path two thirds of a mile three fifths of a mile i thought it must be more than three fifths of a mile Got a really cool line of blackbirds there, just sitting in a line, watching us as we head off on our walk. Look at the lovely hills. You've got these beautiful, beautiful hills all around. Look at that. Such a lovely spot, man. Oh, look, you can see the cliffs even better now. <laughs> Going up quite quickly. The boats are amazing. All those little boats out at sea. And the view's already got even better. And you can see down there all the different cliffs back again across the campsite and the holiday park where all those trees are that's where the camping area is look at it it's so cool let's get further up here we are top of this little mound you've got a cracking view here that's where we're going heading down there i think across the top of these little mountains towards lowell's cove and that's another little uh, cool cove down there all these fancy ships moving around people walking about look at those amazing cliffs just stunning look at it amazing yeah. The view is amazing, man. Okay, here we are. Uh, that's Lulworth Cove down there. Uh, we got here a lot quicker than I thought. Look at those fantastic houses. Just imagine living there. Absolutely amazing spot. And look at it as you go around. Loads of people here. A lot of these people, I think, are from Spain today on a trip. Oh, you can see more people down there on like our paddle boards. Look at that. Anyway, we should be down there quite soon. Anyway, we're strolling down this. So it's got quite a nice uh, little sort of path. We're going down here, quite easy to walk on. Sort of nice rocks laid out for you everywhere. And so we stroll on down to the cove. Could be pug carrying time now. Pug is on the move again, he's got his cool jacket on today. Uh, it's actually well made this path, but it's actually quite slippery. Be careful. Okay, so we're wandering down. Pug is on fine form. Anyway, we're nearly there now. Nearly at the bottom of these slippery stones now. And here we are, just coming right down to Low Earth Cove. It's a car park, part of the four travel park seems to be doing all right. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Amazing little spot. I think you can actually go digging for like a, uh, it's called the Jurassic Coast around here. So I think you can actually dig for like, um, uh, what are those dinosaur things called? Fossils. Yeah, you can dig for like fossils. Anyway, let's get further into the town. Got a cool view of the path, we just come down back up there. We'll be walking back out of that later, and then we'll carry the pug. Right, here we go, heading into the town. Nice car park here. Oh, pug's having a little chill in the shade. Let's give him some water. Wandering out of the end of the car park, you've got all these nice uh, sort of thatched cottages. Look over there, that's a really cool picturesque area. And wandering down here, we can have a look at all these little shops and little uh, uh, places there are to sort of chill out and get ice creams and stuff. That's a really pretty little zone here. Right, we're down here in the... Uh, in the area itself. Let's go have a look at that visitor center. Um, you've got all sorts of nice little shops, shop, coffee bar, 
Lulworth Cove Inn, all these places to buy, like those little, um, I might actually get some of those shoes you can tread on the stones with. And over here, the visitor centre. Let's go and have a look at that visitor centre and see what we can find out. It's a cool area. Oh look, you can see behind the, uh, the path we just came down. Okay, so we're in the um, uh, this sort of visitor centre at the moment. And tell, tell me about the, tell me about it. So this is a footprint of a dinosaur, I think, that was found around here. Oh, well, it claims to be about five metres tall and nine metres wide. Yeah, so look, as Rick says, picture? from that picture it claims to be nine metres tall and five metres wide. So it's been a megalosaurus. Okay. Anyway, still it's pretty cool. I'd actually like to go and find some of our own uh, fossils. So it seems to be 150 million years ago, it was Portland, Spain. 147 Purbeck beds. 140 million Wilden beds, green sand and chalk 97 million years ago. Quite a cool little spot here, just telling you all about the uh, different things. Oh, and look, over here also shows you, oh, there's different fossils. Oh, look at that. Oh, different sort of fossils you can find. Fish teeth, shark teeth, fish scales, turtle. Oh, section of a turtle. Chalk cells, green sand shells and oyster beds. Oh man, look at that little dinosaur skeleton. And here we are uh, outside in Lower Cove. Uh, just to tip. Oh my god. Oh no, wait, look, you've actually found something. Oh man, look at that. We better get some sort of uh, people to come in and just look at it. Okay, just really carefully because this could be like a major find. Could be like part of a actual real dinosaur. Look at it. I can't believe we just came out with a brush and suddenly found it. Can you? Unbelievable. Oh, we're in the visitor center. Do think anybody knew that? <laughs> it's a fun little thing in the visitor centre where you can find a dinosaur. Very pretty going for a quick fossil rubbing. I love doing fossil rubbings. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Travel dog recovering. Uh, in the centre now. Here you got this place, Loveworth Cove Inn. Looks pretty cool. Sorry, could you hear that? Pugs, pugs tripping people over. Uh, you got these like, little places to eat down here. Nice little homemade ice cream spots. Um, Jake's Gelato ice cream for dogs. We'll try that later. Uh, but yeah, look, you've got all these nice places you can stay. And you can wander on further down here because you've got more and more uh, little places to eat and stay at. Uh, it looks quite nice to eat out there, doesn't it? Barbecue, another place. Oh, here we go. Bit of a menu. Battered cod and chips, twelve ninety five. More marinier, fourteen ninety five. Deep fried white bait, nine seventy five. We've got pizza, burgers. Got quite a few different things you can have here. Another, another place. Quick look at the menu. Well worth cave in. Sunday roast, sixteen twenty five. It's Sunday. And then pub classics, fish and chips, fifteen twenty five. Steak and tangle for pie. Cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger, plant burger, potato and gnocchi. Quite a nice little mini, quite a nice little spot to chill out. Oh, dog friendly. Got all sorts of uh, pretty spots here, like a doll's house built 1856. Oh, a traditional sweets shop. Looks quite cool. Oh man, look at these mad plants in that garden. Very cool. Hang on down here, so pugs just uh, gonna wait for the pug to do some sniffing. Trundle on down here. Oh look, I think you can hire this place over here. Pugs. Here we go. Yes, look, Cove Cottage. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Lower stays in luxury stays in Lower. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? Look at that. What a gorgeous little cottage to stay in. Nice. Right down here near the cove. Very cool. Strolling on. Beautiful. Look at these nice little sort of little watery bits here. Look funky, don't they? By these little cottages. That must be another cottage you can hire. Nice, pretty little funky areas around here. Oh, look, you can see people wandering out there onto the bits of Lulworth Cove itself. Come on here. Lulworth Lodge Hotel Bistro. Got a lunch menu 12 to 3 as well. Got a few little mini dogs. Jeff, mini dogs for you. Mini dogs. Look at these mad paddle boards. They look so cool. Um, 
Burbeck Ice Cream, Lower Lodge Hotel Bistro, Cod and Chips, more marinara, selection of sandwiches, and lobster. Check it out. Looks pretty cool. All these places look pretty cool. Well, you've got a nice little area to sit out there. Looks very nice. Take away fresh popcorn slash candy floss. Whatever is that like. More marinara, chili more, fennel more. Man, muscle madness. Everywhere they've got muscles around the I do love muscles, but I'm slightly paranoid about eating them in case you get bad muscle. Take the pug down here and dip him in the sea to cool his little feet off. Oh look, you've got these lovely views, everybody up here, on these sort of sly little cliff bits. Look cool, don't they? Looks cool up there. Kayak and paddleboard hire. I think that's 20 pounds per hour. So one down here. Now this place here, I think on the left, is like the main fish and chip shop that most people go to. Try and make sure. Come on down here. That's a bit cooler down here as well. So I think most people just get fish and chips here. Try our crab and lobster burger. We did try the crab and lobster burger last time. I wouldn't have said it was the most amazing yeah, crab and lobster burger I've ever had. It's just seemed more like potato, essentially. Um, but look, everybody's here grabbing oh, pasties, fish and chips. Oh, it's still quite expensive. Batted gurnard sir, for chips. Fish and chips. Anybody, everybody here rocking out at this place. Look at all the lovely lobster pots here. That's what you want. You want a lobster brought to you, especially in that, don't you? Boat shed, another little sort of cafe. Try our posh fish finger baps. Oh, gourmet burgers, crab and lobster burger. Basic fish and chips, 10.90. Soul and chips, breaded mackerel, tempered prawns, pea fritters. Good, it's quite a strange one to have fish and chips. Oh, Jeff in the photo. Oh man, look, you've got. <laughs> Come on, Jeffers. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh man, it's quite active down here today. Everybody going mad, going out on their like sort of speedy rib ride boats. Look, loads of people here. Boat shed cafe, it must be another little lunchtime area. And yeah, boat trip, sea dirtled on the Jurassic Coast, 20 minute round trip, 15 pounds per person, cash only. Look, you've got loads of stuff. Oh, it's such an amazingly weird little sort of circular cove that's there, isn't it? Full of activity today. All right, let's have a little stroll down and put the pug's feet in the water. Come on, let me just put them in there. I just want to put your feet in the water again to make sure you're cool enough. Yeah, so it'll cool you down. But you don't feel too hot now, do you? One more foot in the water. One more foot in the water. That's it. That's it. Just let your little feet. Let your little feet cool in the water, okay? Just let your feet cool. Yeah? There you go. That's not so bad, is it? How long for? Okay. There you go. Just cooling the pug's feet in the water. Cool them down, seems to be very good for dogs to have their feet cooled in the water. At least quite happy after that. It doesn't seem too hot anymore. It seems to have recovered a bit. Everywhere you go, somebody's blown the air out on one of those paddle boards now. Everybody seems to have a paddle board. <sighs> okay, so we got ourselves a fish and chip and a cheeseburger. Unbelievably expensive, 18 95 for that. That is the problem with England. The food is so expensive, not always amazingly good. Um, anyway. There's Travel Dog in the shade in the boat. And this is the little place we got the food. And uh, we are chilling out. It's really pretty here in this place. It's quite hot today. Uh, let's worry about the hug. But anyway, hug seems okay. Now he's dipped himself in the sea a few times. And let's see what this fish is like. So, still standing here waiting for the food. This is the last time we waited here for about 19 hours. But, um, I hope it's good after the wait. Anyway, the pug looks on good form. Loads of people still here wandering around. There's big boats beside us. There we go, having the fish and chips last. Not actually not bad at all. It's actually meant to be gurned, so it's meant to be like a sustainable fish and chips. And it's actually quite tasty. Mad long wait, can make you go insane. Other than that, all good. Water. Water. A nice weird dip for the chips. Yeah, um, not bad, quite soft, nice cheese taste. Mm, 8 out of 10, just a good burger. Not bad at all.
Nice. How are you, Pug? You chilling out down there? I'm gonna have a chip in a minute when they cool down. Refugees requested a chip test. Oh, okay. Um, Jeff is now going to test the chips. Jeff, the prime tester of chips. Jeff, what do you reckon of the chip? We'll hold the microphone there for him to make his comment. Jeff, the chip. He's already eaten quite a few of these chips. I think he does like them. He has eaten quite quick. I'm eating quite a few and eating them quite quick. So I think that must be an 8.5 from Jeff. 8.5 from Jeff for the chips. Well done, Jeff. Good chips. Good boy. There you go. Store some more down there. Okay, everybody. So I just had the uh, fish and chips. It's actually quite tasty after all. Pug enjoyed his chips. We're just going to wander around a couple more of these little shops down here in Lulworth. We might come back and hire a um, one of those boards you paddle around on. It's called a paddleboard. Um, there's a bread shop somewhere around here. I can't work out where it's gone. Uh, it's a little like somebody had really nice bread. Instead of anything so expensive to buy here, we might just make some sandwiches. Where are we off to? Oh, we're off to go and find some ice cream. The refugee going in for a bit of ice cream here at this homemade ice cream place, which looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Queuing up for the ice cream. Oh, this is the same shop we went into this morning. It's like sort of a ice cream and a toy shop. Ice cream in action. Looks very cool. Here he is, Rafe D, with his mint choc chip ice cream. What's it like? So it's got a really good sweet mint taste. And yeah. Chocolate chips work really nicely. Nine out of ten. Nine out, nine out of ten. He's happy. Right. Pug. Pug's chasing another dog. Can't quite get him to follow. Come on, Pug. Anyway, quick Thomas Hardy quote here. Had I but lived a hundred years ago, I might have gone as they have gone this year. By warm well crossed to a cove I know, and time have placed his finger on me there. You see that man? I might have looked and said, oh yes, I see him. One that boat has brought, which dropped down channel around St. Alban's head. So commonplace a youth calls not my thought. You see that man? Why yes, I told you, yes. Of an idling town, salt, thin, hair brown in hue. And as the evening light scants less and less, he looks up at a star, as many do. Hey, I'm not entirely sure it was meant to be directly about Love of Cove, but there we go. Bit of poetry, travel dog poetry moment. This is like another fish and chip shop. Slightly cheaper. Cod and chips, halibut chips, scampi and chips. Oh, that's pretty good as well, actually. Nine quid, what's in here? This is a cafe. Light. Oh, there you go, here. Light sandwiches, soups, and snacks. And paninis, sandwiches, baguettes. About five pounds for a sandwich. Yeah. Come on, Jeff. What? There's a little shop as well you can buy stuff. Especially those pebble protecting boots. And bamboo socks. Oh man, so a paddleboard actually costs 349 pounds. Do you know how much paddleboard costed? Come on, Pug. <clears throat> Loads of things here. Goggles, rest of it. Shop. Loads of weird stuff here. There's a for eating ice cream, whack me in the head with the thing. No idea what those are, but they are really weird. What is it? What does it do? <laughs> Look at these jellyfish. How cool are these jellyfish? Travel dog is being carried by human rickshaw back up the hill from Lulworth Cove World Heritage Site. And the travel dog is enjoying its luxury trip up the hill while wearing a particularly wet cool coat that is now going to cover my body in water. And hopefully we will make it. Come on team. Staggering the pug back out from Lulworth Cove. Pugs are surprisingly heavy. A proper pug should always look heavier when you pick it up. Should be heavier than you think it's going to be. So it is quite heavy. Hard work lugging a wet coated pug up the hill. But here we come. In the name of pug love. Stagger up and onwards. 
That way you won't get too hot. Anyway, I'm about to put him down for a moment after all. Come on, Pokey. Oh, oh, just a moment. There you go. Come on, crew. Let's keep going, get that pug up the hill. Come on, pug. Me and the pug, especially the pug, I'm nearly made it to the top of this bit. Pug is doing fine in his cool jacket. Down behind us, you've got those amazing houses. They're like sort of country houses built on the edge of here. Quite bizarre. Everybody saw loads of people flying past us all the way down to Lower Earth Cove. Oh, sorry, Pug is, Pug is trying to trip everybody over. Sorry, everybody. Come on, Pug. When you finish tripping them all, let's keep going. Hey, yeah, loads of people just chilling out on the hillside up there on the right. These beautiful views down to those ships and everything. It's just stunning. Must be loads of other walks, longer ones you can do around here. With a pug in cold weather, not with a pug in hot weather. Ah, it's a beautiful English summer's day. Ow! Look at that, amazing, just down there in front of you. So cool, those cliffs. You can walk all the way along that from my doodle or film some of that later. They just look so amazing. Absolutely stunning coastline. And those beautiful beautiful white cliffs lurking down there. Just stunning. Oh. Dad is eating yeah. the poo. Jeffrey, don't eat the cow poo. Come <laughs> on. Don't eat the cow poo. Lots of cow poo here. So Jeff needs to be kept on a tight leash. Oh, he does look a bit... Are you ready for cow poo? Proud. He does look proud. Okay. Let's give this pug some water. The source of cow poo is hidden down there among those cows. So currently, apparently, people are just going up and stroking. Anyway, obviously keep your dog away. Travel dog is gonna be kept well away from wild cows. So it can be quite dangerous. If you just look at that amazing view, and look at all those boats and ships just out in the ocean, just chilling out there, stunning. All the people just chilling in the sea. It's just so beautiful. That, you can't work out what that strip of land, but that strip of land actually goes across that little island there. Might try and work out what that actually is later. But um, yeah, let's go and see these cows. You can hear all these beautiful grasshoppers and bugs chattering around us. Well, you probably could if there wasn't, if there wasn't a pug <laughs> breathing heavily <laughs> nearby. Uh, those are those cows. Oh, yeah, sorry. Those are the cows. Hop a bit closer over there. Look at that. Beautiful vision of cows beside a ocean view. Travel Pug's having a bit of a... I refuse to move at this point. Here it comes. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Come on. For your fans. For your fans. Good Pug. Good Pug. Good Pug. Is it treat time? Is it treat time? Come on. You deserve a treat after really good walking. Here we go, Travel Pug. Good boy, well done. Come on, let's get you home now and splash more water on you. Here we go, heading back into the campsite. Oh, and the caravan site. And, whoa, I'm about to be tripped over by a pug. Back to where we pretty much started now. Have this uh, little dog campsite sign. But look at all the cows, they're all standing up, prancing around this morning. They all look quite tired now after the hot day. Just chilling, relaxing in the sun. And the pug says he's tired as well. More pug carrying. We are back in the campsite. Travel dog is demanding to be carried as only a fine travel dog should. It's a little hot pug, he needs to go home and have more water put on himself. But he's on a fine pug walk to Lulworth Cove. And now we're all going to go back and lay in the caravan for a bit. And have you seen? Haraba, like and subscribe to this mother channel, laptop10.com. See you all soon. Have you seen? Bye bye.